assuming it's going to be sub, but I might be wrong. Uh, it is in fact going to be cargo because crossbonds. Because crossbonds. So we're going to start in cargo, watching PFG. Uh, their immediate gorge. Alpha is going to immediately go gorge with a three-one skull push right up. Immediate assisting into nano. Um, I don't know what the point in going gorge is if you're going to drop the nano assist chain. It can easily be cut. The all the marines except for the calm. I'm sorry, all the marines. Yep. Uh, are pushing after their naturals, some contention over in topographical, or in East direction rather. Swedish Robin crazy, holding the room. Curry gets parasited from down the hall. Carb is there, mines have been completed. I think, oh, that is an offensive gorge tunnel right behind that box. Wow, I really like that actually. So, gorge tunnel from base to East Junction, gonna try and get a hold on the right side of the map, it looks like, including Nano, not allow the Marines any chance to push anywhere. Shrek taking some pot shot damage from these three marines in West Junction, however. Oh, this pollen is really messing my throat. It sucks. Um, Skulk's just sort of hanging out, waiting for the marines to abandon what's going on. There's still no PvE defense in Nano, so I'm assuming these marines are going to push right across from system waypointing, seeing what's going on. They don't see any sustain. They don't see anything that means the marines know the aliens have not started sub. Um, they know, obviously, they probably have started uh, cargo. Nothing being dropped in terms of support structures. There's an arms lab, so that's going to give them weapon upgrades. So they're going fast. Weapon upgrades. Um, so contention now here at System Waypointing is Brunson and Octo are going to get jumped on. Shrek gets taken off. Off the wall. Crazy gets taken off as he explores um, right at him. Alpha getting picked up. There goes the Gorge. That's 10 res lost for the Marines. Sorry, the Aliens. It's either 10 or 8. I think it's 10. Um, Swedish now on the wall trying to defend against Curry. He's going to try and get by him. But uh, no early engagements won from the, the Aliens uh, of an RT being dropped, the harvester being dropped over in pipeline with a drifter now just outside of nano. Looks like aliens want to drop that RT but have not done so. Rob going for the two, two marines now, crazy there as Runty and Octo use the distance of that room to their advantage, try and uh, give, some, 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 give themselves some distance. Octo pushes up to get crazy, doesn't notice Rob around the corner. Rob takes him out and also takes down Runty. Engagement one. Here comes the pressure across the map. A one v one engagement. A Swedish takes down Curry over in C twelve. Oh, this Paul and the allergies—they're so strong. Alpha goes down behind the RT and sub. So he tries to win that engagement. Now some res biting going on. From Swedish working on the top of Alpha RT, but Octo is right there waiting. Um, gonna try and pick him up. Here comes Shrek. Wow, some pot shots right as he turns that corner, uh, bringing him down to about half health. Defensive minds all over the place. Uh, Karma is playing here very defensively. I think they should be a little bit more aggressive um, in terms of pushing into nano. They have system waypointing. There goes Swedish. Octo Shrek is going to continue biting this RT. He's going to try and juke around, try and do as much damage. It goes down. Wow, it's at 1%. An uh, OBS has been completed. Phase tech has been started. Weapons 1 has been started. Armor 1 has been finished. I think right now would be a great time for the Marines to push in the nano. If they can just hold the system waypointing, they're going to try the same thing that uh, the aliens that uh, PFG did last map, was get a phase gate, get some sentries, hold system waypointing, cut nano, and try and push in some pressure. Here comes the pressure from the Marine team. The dome, I'm sorry, uh, Octo and Curry now pushing into C12, going to cut the cis chain, but push down in a pipeline rather than kill the RT. Swedish is going to slowly follow them as they lurk. Rob is also another lurk. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're going for a phase gate, but they don't realize they're about to be jumped. Here comes the jump. There goes Crazy. I'm sorry. There goes uh, Octo and Curry. <coughs> Ow. The RT is now being dropped by PFG and Nano. C12 has been resisted and uh, uh, nutrient misted, so that cyst is going to grow quite quickly. Harva trying to do what he can to defend that room. But uh, Marines have not been used up. They're sort of separated out a little bit. Carva going down to Crazy's Parasite. Runty trying to take him out. 1v1 does take out Crazy. Shrek comes in to back that up. There goes Runty. Morbin is all alone against Shrek and Rob. Bellark's going to spike Morbin down just a little bit. Try and get some early poke before he goes in for that kill. Now here comes the push on the sub. That RT is going to go down almost immediately. Those aliens are going to push right up into Overlook. Do what damage they can as two Marines come down. Carva and Octo come down out of West Junction, sorry, East Junction. 
West, West Junction, West Junction, and try and kill this Lurk. They're gonna go for a Lurk kill now. Swedish needs to get out of there. He's gonna dodge and weave. Because they know about half health, but he's gonna get out safely. Offensive line is doing their job. This Gorge Tunnel has not been utilized that I've really seen at all. They have a hold in East Junction, but the, the Skulks are not using the tunnel. More so, they're just traveling right now across the map via foot. I don't know why they don't just push through the tunnel up in the topographical and just take out that natural res tower. A phase gate going down in subsector. The two lurks just sort of cleaning, flying around, taking care of some stuff. Here's the push on the crack. Runty's gonna push, but Rob's gonna be there to defend. Runty is probably gonna go down. There he goes. Uh, the crack getting a little bit of poke, but that's gonna be healed very quickly. Curry now coming in to defend. Rob uh, taking a little bit of damage. He's gonna get out of there. Both of them are getting, well, Curry's getting matted. So here comes Alpha through the tunnel. Now here comes the defense on that tunnel. Curry and is gonna try and go with 3v1. Uh, almost six down Alpha, but does not take him down. That would be a really good time to resist uh, C12 and get that back up and also push top graphical while you have the chance. A push in system waypointing. Rob gonna try and take out Octo, goes for a few bites and does not seem to accomplish his goal. Still no pressure on top graphical or skylights. I don't know why no skull has gotten to skylights to do anything uh, in terms of res bite. Alpha trying to take down Carva. Here's the three man crush on Carva. He is gonna go down. Skulks might uh, have a good time if they go up to Skylights right now on Topographical. Try and bite some res over on West Junk, East Junction. The Gorge Tunnel quickly dying to these Marine bullets as fast as it went up. Uh, Runty and Curry doing what they can, but those Armor 1, Weapons 1 combo. Gonna take that Gorge Tunnel down. There goes all the, uh, the, the short travel times for the aliens. That's gonna get cleaned up, but they don't have a gorge to replace that. It's just a crag now. They still have the nano RTs going, but uh, a whip being dropped in system waypointing, some PvE trying to defend that room. There's no infestation that can sit on, so the whip is essentially useless. Rob does take down Octo. Gonna try and go for Corbin, but he might get pinched as the phase gate is still there. Rob needs to be careful, make sure he doesn't get caught off guard, shot in the back. Um, some pressure. That crag is still over in Nano, in West Junction, East Junction rather, uh, sort of just taking some damage to it's not in the station. Russie going, taking down Shrek. Shrek goes down. Wow, Swedish might go down. Swedish might go down. He's got almost no health. He's only got 13%. He might get caught off guard. Wow, he goes through the vents and gets out of there with nothing. He's just going to wait. He does not want to go out. He does not want to abandon. He does not want to try and go anywhere. He knows that if he walks out, he might die. Here comes Rob. Now Swedish is going to go. He doesn't want to go out alone. He wants to make sure he has some vision. He's whipped, doing a little bit of defense, but he's going to be doing an excellent job of holding the room. You're probably going to see a phase gate in here almost immediately. And at seven and a half minutes, Marines are sitting at five res nodes with only three extractors being killed to the one alien harvester. Uh, certainly, the aliens need to get the res biting game up more. Team resources, Marines are skyrocketing 290 right now to 236. Team kills 23 to 23. The aliens have the team presence. They don't have the res. Here comes a push. The defense on those mines doing what they can. Fades down on the field. Crazy and Shrek. Shotguns have been finished. Weapons 1, Armor 1 has been finished. Weapons 2 now going. That that push is going to be abandoned. All that mine damage doing everything they can. Uh, Viking just sort of hovering now over biting res. Over in system waypointing, a phase gate going down in system waypointing, moving the one out of subsector, moving that up a little bit more. Same thing that we saw last game. Mines everywhere. You're probably going to see some sentries at some point. There's the arc lab. This is the exact carbon copy of what happened last time. This arc lab is going to turn into one, a proper arc. This robotics factory is going to turn into a proper arc lab. Build some arcs. Arc out this room. There's the obs tower. That's going to problem solve the uh, the. Um, the scan problem, but uh, now the aliens know what's going on, but in order to get to this room, they need to go through system waypointing, which the problem with that is they don't have the ability to go through there. There's mines everywhere, and there's a phase gate. There's defense everywhere. There's no easy way to get in there other than through that vent, and if Carva mines that, that's going to block that path of entry. They're going to have free reign over that room. There's a scan. Aliens want to try. They want to try. I can see it. They want to try. Crazy might go down here. He goes down to almost no health. He black bars. He needs to get out of there. The shotguns are just too damn powerful. Crazy. Shrek going in for some bites. Swedish taking down Curry from behind. Rob might go down. There goes Rob. Rob is now dead. Alpha the skull goes down, but he's a skull. It don't matter. But that, that is big. Lurk down. Shotguns. I'm sorry. Weapons 2 has been finished now. So here come the arcs. Arc factory has been researched. It's been finished. There's your first arc. It's going to set up on this wall. And Nano's going to be toast. I see no res biting going on at almost nine yeah nine and three quarters minutes four residents have been killed 
Uh, four extractors have been killed for the Marines, and this is soon to be three extractors killed for the aliens. They're sitting on five extractors right now, five harvesters rather, but, uh, you know, there's no pressure from the aliens, just absolutely none on anything. There's mines all over System Waypointing, and they're not focusing any other res. There's no res biting going on, and this is a serious problem. If the aliens want to win this game, they need to kill Skylights and kill Topographical, they need to go and get behind them and kill Overlook. That's the only way they're going to win this, is if they get these Marines off their back so they can actually take System Waypointing and take the room. But that's not going to happen at any point because there's no res biting going on. Aliens have sort of just cruised around the map. They're looking for engagements they can win, but it's not happening because they're not giving them, they're not making the opportunity for themselves. Um, no res biting allows Marines, I mean, they're sitting on five res nodes. Obviously, they see an Onos rush coming because there's the, ar there's the armory wall. Rob, uh, no one on the alien team has enough to go Onos. Absolutely nobody. Alpha is going to go Gorge. He was Gorge. He is Gorge. So we're probably going to see, yep, Gorge upgrades are going right now. So you're going to see some Bile Rush pushing into system waypointing. Um, but it's not going to matter because there's double, double armory walls. Obviously, PFG, sorry, Carva has looked at the clock. They see what's going on. They see that, you know, it's about that time for Onuses. So they don't want to let those Onuses go more mines going down to system waypointing. This point of contention is going to be held pretty much the entire game. There's the cleanup of Nano. Now all the aliens are going to push in and try and clean these Marines up. Those shotguns and weapons, too, are going to make short work of fades and lurks in no time flat. Uh, some defense coming from Carva. It's just pressure across the map, you know. Rob is finally biting the RT and topographical. It is about time, but uh, I want to say a little bit too late. Rob trying to do what he can. He has killed the RT. The alien just need to keep that up. Um, oh, a Gorge Tunnel going up in Skylights. Uh, this might be a base rush, actually. This is a base rush. An immediate beacon as Alpha tries to allow that power. There's nobody anywhere around to do some defense. They're gonna arc, there's gonna bile those arcs. I don't know why they wouldn't just continue biling the arc. There goes Alpha to bile the arcs a little bit more. They're just gonna cruise back into base. That Gorge Tunnel is still there. A scan going down just south of West Junction. Misses the Gorge Tunnel, but there's the scan. Now they know what's going on. Crazy comes out of that Gorge Tunnel very slowly. He might go down. Alpha comes out to try and defend what he can. The Drifter goes down. The Shade is still up, but they know where this is. This is going to be killed very quickly. Alpha is probably going to go down. Crazy does take down Horbin, but he's got almost no health. Crazy, wow. Crazy might go down. He's got almost no health. The Gorge is gone. Crazy needs to get out of there. Runty is trying to push on that. There goes Crazy. Went in a little too hard on that Gorge Tunnel, trying to save it. Runty just pops him in the face with that LMG. Uh, Sentry Battery now in Nanogrid, doing what it can. Um, this is the Marines game to win, honestly. I don't see the aliens coming out of this. There's been no res biting the entire map. They're going to try and grab topographical. This is essentially a carbon copy of the last map, um, and the last round rather. And uh, I don't see the aliens coming out of this because they can't hold anything. You know, they, they pushed so hard on top of, on system waypointing early on, they couldn't do anything to secure any rooms. They just focused so heavily on, you know, trying to get into that fortified position rather than breaking the Marines off to go bite other res, because by doing that you break them off, then you can work on that room and bile it out and kill everything in there and take it back, you know. Then you kill them both the res flow and their hold, and now, you know, then they have something to do. A Swedish just in the vent, trying to be quiet so it doesn't make any herd, it doesn't make any noise. Rob coming around the corner, and Swedish and Rob are going to go for the push. They're considering it, but it doesn't look like they, uh... They're just sort of flying around. It doesn't look like they have anything planned. Like, I think they want to go in. They want to try. They just don't want to waste a lurk by rushing into a fight. And if they're looking for an opportunity, uh, and they're not really making an opportunity for themselves. A Sculpt now in subsector trying to do some damage up in topographical. A Marine has cleared out the infestation, so that means no RT for the aliens. Um, three Marines now sitting in wide junction, constantly defending, clearing up cis chains trying to defend this room. I think the arcs are slowly incoming down that direction from somewhere around the map. The arcs are... Oh, the arcs are dead. I don't know where the arcs are. They're gone. So, no arcs. But they're going to push into cargo. Are they going for a phase gate push? No, they're just going to push. Uh, go down to 90%. They're going to try and kill the hive. Here's the push on the hive. Um, over up north under the map, lurk upgrades have been completed. We're going to see a base rush. No other chairs have been completed, but there's the immediate beacon. Not taking any chances. 
the immediate beacon, they did poke the chair a little bit, it's down to 50%. Probably just gonna see those Marines phase right back into subsect on uh, system waypointing. We're actually gonna drop down, repairing the armory wall a little bit. Drop down and follow Karva. Karva's gonna get picked up from behind by Shrek. He's gonna do what he can, but he goes in alone. Don't know why he wasn't with his teammates. Always should work with a teammate. Uh, Karva now trying to do the same thing. Uh, I'm sorry, the Corbin. Um, there's Octo right behind him. And Shrek is gonna try and do what he can. Alpha goes down. Octo needs to be careful. Uh, he is now in conjunction with those two uh, lurk, uh, sorry, those two marines in that hallway. Uh, here comes the defense from the aliens. There is uh, Rob, or Swedish, and Shrek with Shade. Wow, he just takes some pot shots at him, tries to do this white saw. Shrek trying to do the can. Horvin goes down to Swedish. Rob, uh, Hort, Swedish taking a shot to the face, though, from that shotgun subsector now it's been finished. Marines now have two chairs. They don't have to worry about anything going terribly, terribly wrong. No arcs have been produced anywhere across the map, and no onus is anywhere on the horizon as Gordius, I'm sorry, the aliens only have uh, three res nodes, while the Marines have a total of six. Still, no res biting going on anywhere across the map. Crazy is the only skulk. If the aliens, oh, Shrek might die. Wow, I missed that entirely. Shrek almost went down in that fight in Y Junction. Oh. Oh, indeed. Why am I not showing any viewers? I know I have viewers, because I have to have viewers, but I'm not showing any. Refresh my dashboard, see what's going on. Why are you not showing any viewers? I know I'm online. A push pushing into cargo now. Uh, all these Marines pushing in the target are going to poke this hide from distance. No need to go up on it. Uh, Crazy goes down after he tries to push in. Alpha goes down. Swedish takes on Horbin. Babbler goes down. Uh, there goes Carva. Marine pushed, offensive pushed off, but the damage is done. The hive is sitting at 41%. Um, they're doing what they can to poke this hive as much as possible. They don't want this main hive up, and if they can take this room, then that'll be really bad. Uh, still no arcs being produced. They have the res. It's not like they're starving for res. There's also no prototype lab in base. Um, I don't know why they're not building arcs, honestly. If they wanted to, they could just build arcs and push them right down to cargo. Now we can the stalemate of uh, marine alien uh, you know, counter pushes constant. Um, let's talk strategy. If the aliens wanted to win this game, there are sentries in nanograde that'll defend against the cisgen being dropped in. They need to start biting res. They need to put Rob, Swedish, and Alpha all on biting res. All of them. Here's the push in two cargo. The hive is gonna go down. Crazy knows this. He just can't do anything about it. There goes the hive. That's a cargo. That's a trip hive down. Now all the upgrades which are actually, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one, uh, there's only two shit, there's only two, so, uh, spurs up across the, the room. So, but the hive's dead, so that, that, you know, doesn't matter. Um, you know, they took this room, there's no res biting going on, so there's nothing that these marines, that these aliens can do. There's a beacon to save, well, little time they have, they have octo save. Oh, oh was that a push into, uh, oops trying to defense beacon, just wanted to save his players, didn't want to give that up. Aliens do have enough to drop another hive, they're sitting at 75 res. Um, what is going on? I know I'm broadcasting. Am I not broadcasting? I'm streaming. But my stream is being stupid. What's going on? Am I broadcasting? I know I've got to be. What's going on? Yeah, I am broadcasting. Okay, my dashboard's just being stupid. I don't know why it's being stupid. Alright, well. I'm just gonna continue on continuing on, because I don't know why it's not showing you. Whatever. Swedish taking out Runty as he tries to push down, cut the cis chain out of East Junction. Um, there is cis chain, there is infestation because of that core channel keeping everything but the RT alive. Um, <coughs> the crack doing what it can. I don't think it can work against killing this, uh, there goes the movement, yeah, they're just gonna move all that stuff out of there, they don't wanna lose those structures, now we start with the res biting, Swedish finally biting res with crazy, um, Runty's gonna come around the corner, but they're only ever working on the right side of the map, they keep trying to get topographical back, I don't know why they don't just push skylights and overlook and kill that res behind the marines, you know, even just getting behind them, see Alpha now, a gorge in the vent, uh, just biling this RT, not the best use of the gorge. I think he should actually be down at system waypointing, trying to bile his uh, his ever living heart out. Because if the more they can get done, the better off they'll be. Uh, you know, 
Oh, uh, this this is the Marines' game to win. But considering that they're not pressuring, they're only pressuring just a little. I think the aliens could actually pull it off. They've got the life forms to do it. They've got two gorges, two lurks, and a fade. Um, one of them, Swedish, has almost enough rise to get on us. Shrek almost has enough to refade. Uh, Alpha has enough to refade almost. Crazy has enough to relurk if he wants to. I think if they push, here comes a push from the main base. Those offensive mines, you know, aliens having to really struggle uphill to even get near the base. Obviously, the Marines know what's going on. They know that their mines are getting destroyed. Um, they're going to sort of pick off these, mar these Marines one by one. But uh, Alpha now Command behind them, filing the power. Damage. Here comes the push. I don't know why they don't go for the Ob's Tower. They might actually try and clean these Marines up as fast as possible. I don't know if they're actually going to do it, though. There goes the Gorge. These higher life forms need to be careful. Rob might go down from the distance. He does. He does go down to Runty's rifle down the hallway. So he is going to go down. That is a lurk down. Um, those defensive mines are all over the place. A phase gate now in the dome. The Super Triangle, the Super Star Wars, I'm sorry, Star Trek uh, Insignia now all up on there. Nano Grid has been recycled. So much for my Star Trek Insignia that is gone. It's crazy now getting picked off in the dome as Curry and Carva defend this hallway. Shrek trying to go into the bites. Rob trying to go into the bites. Trying to do what they can. But the shotgun and weapons three armor two combo is just going to hold this off. Still no arcs in play. Anyway, there's one arc in uh, in system waypointing, just chilling. Doesn't really want to go anywhere. Um, the cargo, the cargo gorge tunnel is still up from the gorge that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, at some point, these marines are gonna push into the gonna push into pipeline. I just don't know when. Um, they keep trying these base rushes, and I appreciate the fact that they're trying them. Runty's now around the corner. They obviously see this course, you know, this push coming. Runty's around the corner. He's going to wait. Wow, Swedish goes down. Wow, around the corner, Swedish just picked off in the last second. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, that was a really good defense, defensive play. Sitting in this corner, waiting for those aliens to come around this corner. Pot shot number one, pot shot number two. Total meat shots in that lurk. Lurk goes down almost immediately. That is some heavy, heavy work. Now the Marines clearing out the infestation around the dome, putting down mines, more defensive mines. Uh, aliens are scattered across the map. Uh, the Crusade, Shrek, wow, Shrek takes so much damage from that mine. Oh my god, it was down to five health just by clearing through some mines. So much damage. Here's the final push into the, the alien base, trying to get what they can done. Uh, Octo, Corbin, and Curry all pushing into the base with those shotguns. Gonna try and poke the shell, kill the carapace, kill as much as they possibly can before dying. Um, maybe even go these aliens into coming out. There goes one skulk. There goes Curry. Uh, but they are killing skulks. Shrek does take a few meat shots in the face. He actually might go down. Shrek takes a little bit of flak damage from the corner shots there, but uh, overall pretty clean. The cis chain being cut. Aliens are being just vice grip into their base. Not much they can do. The dome is still contested. I'm pretty sure we're going to see sentries up in there at any point. Octo is alone, not getting meted. Takes Shrek down to 25% health. But uh, here come the arcs, the two arcs. Turns those around, does not want crazy to see what's going on. He's just going to chill those behind the wall. Make sure that those are not found. Defense of the gate comes back through. They're going to weld that gate. Cargo Hive has been dropped at 58%. There is a shade right there covering that. So, uh, the Sneaky Hive, they have the reds, it's not like they have anything to lose. Over in the subsector, some more res biting going on from Alpha. Again, too late, 23 minutes into the game, only 11 resource towers killed, uh, which is not at all what they needed. Uh, Alpha might actually take this down, but Octave doesn't want any of that. He's going to walk up and shoot them in the face. Why are you turning these arcs up? Push the arcs up. Push. The arcs up. They've got nothing. Push the arcs up. Come on. You've got nothing. They've got nothing to defend with. They've got nothing. They've got shotguns. There's the GG from PFG. Finally, 1-1 one, one now against Carva. Waiting for Rob to F4. I think he's just sitting trying to do something. I don't know what he's doing. Um, there's the F4. Carva has won that. Same strategy as last game. Marine pressure holding system waypointing. Slowly pushing the way out. 1-1 one, one against PFG.